Welcome a time bloodthirsty lord by incoming lordy and today we're back on Predator hunting grounds with the best female predator in the game Cleopatra and making her toxic the most toxic build in the game for her the best build highlighting a one-shot potential build from range and this is the episode that you don't want to miss out of but before we do get into this video there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that aren't actually subscribed make sure to leave a like show your support click the subscribe button to keep up to date Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the build for the character on Cleopatra with our appearance looking god tier, we have the specialization of Stalker, which will increase our damage while at full stamina, and this works with the aspect of ranged components. That'll be the Plasma Caster on our shoulder and the Held Held Plasma Caster. Alongside that, we have the Alpha Circle for close engagements, gear, healing kit, bear trap, motion detector. And then to perks, we have down range to increase our range damage, impenetrable to make us a bit more tankier, light bender to keep us in cloak for much longer when we're using the handheld plasma caster and jumping around the bloody map. This should be quite fun indeed. So let's jump into the carnage as the best female predator in the game. Let's get into it. Jumping into the hunt on the map overgrowth as the Cleopatra Predator, the best female predator in the game with the most toxic build that we can create. Wow. I haven't heard that roar in such a long time. That is great. And mates, make sure to hit that like button, showing support towards the channel, sharing this with your friends, commenting in the comment section down below if you're enjoying this episode of Predator Undergrounds of the series on the channel. If you want to see it continue, I'd love to know in the comment section down below. Let's try to find these enemies as quickly as possible. And this build does so much. Like, I honestly think this build is kind of nuts for the damage output. So we can show with the plasma cast how much damage it actually does and how effective it is. And with that, the handheld plasma caster being one of my favorite weapons in the game for the range category should be quite fun. They're running through. Okay, I, I found him, found him. Found him. Charge it up. Go for the shot. Ooh, full charge. That should be a double down, honestly. <laughs> the amount of damage. Completely free. And if I start to run out of energy, I just use my handheld plasma caster, and that'll do the same thing of effectiveness. But that should be three. Nice. Perfect. He rage quit! This dude rage quit! Literally, look! They both rage quit! Three of them rage quit! Oh, dude, who's next? Is he like the last rule player? We may just have to kill everybody instantaneously. Since everybody rage quit. Everybody rage quit. What can I do? This build's too toxic. <laughs> I made one of the strongest Predator builds straight away. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, that was a quick match. That is a very aggressive Predator. That's for sure. Let's jump into the second match. And now we're jumping to the map backwater at night. I hate this map with a passion. The worst map ever designed, but the best female Predator ever designed. Let's get into this. And let's destroy our opponents. The first game, people rage quit on us after we killed one. Or pretty much down continuously in one spot. And made them feel useless. But that's the idea of the toxic build. It's too overpowered. It's the best build for the classes that we're showcasing. And it's so much fun to highlight. So let's try to find these enemies. Target isolation as soon as possible. There we go. Found them. And we try to rush down them. And try to buy as much pressure as possible early game. Oh, piggy. Hey, perfect. I'll take that. Nice and easy. Found one. There we go. Got the full scan. Love it. I can literally charge up right in front of him. Not be able to do anything and just take a full shot. He needs to heal. He needs to heal. I'm coming for you, dude. Down him. Then we use this guy to drag everybody across towards him. Scan. Come on, find them. I see one guy picking him up, I think. They didn't quit. Okay, cool. They're still here. Down him again. He's self revive. His teammates are far behind. I see him. Try to get some energy back. Does he see me? The guy sees me, I think. Let's charge it up. Down him. This is perfect. This is the execution you want to showcase this character. It is crazy for what it is. I'm literally going to stand here, even though he's shooting me. He can't get a good shot at me yet. Charge it up. Love it. So you try to truck nades into the trees, guys. Nuts. Let me get the full scan. And then wait for it to pick up the enemy. They picked him up. Nice. Down him again. Now down the other players. Next to them. 
We're gonna go use that handheld plasma cast as well. Get some shots there. Perfect. Nice execution. Using grenade launch to stop me as well, but that's not gonna do anything against me. Nothing. We'll wait for Overload to finish off and then get back into visibility, hopefully. Our health pool is really nice. Did you pick him up? Got the full scans on everybody? The other guy bleed out. I feel like no one's picking him up. He's healing up. Another down. Perfect. We've got this. We've got this. This is why the build is so good. It's so effective. The other guy bled out because no one revived him. <laughs> this guy's not reviving them. He's just looking at them. Put it down this guy. Yeah, I want to down that guy for not reviving the other guy. You're stuck in there, dude. What are you doing? Let's get a quick claim over here on the fallen opponent. Nice and easy. But the help of my character is disgusting with Imperishable and alongside having Stalker benefits. I can play from afar and have a fun time. That's what I love about it. But I don't need to be close range at all. And if I need to, I always have my sickle. But I'm not sure if I should kill both of them. Yeah, these guys are actually good players. Where's the other player? Oh, there's so many piggies, dude. Look how many piggies. Oh my god, give me all of them. Oh my god, there's a piggy farm. Okay, they're right next to me. I got all scans of them. Perfect. Let's go chase down these opponents. There were so many piggies here. I could literally rinse and repeat and try to kill them all if I wanted to. Absolutely possible. Look at that melee benefit. Got a stealth kill as well. Thanks. Shut up. You ain't got time to leave. Give me a stealth kill, this guy. I want a stealth kill. I'm gonna get it. Got it. There we go. So clean. You cannot stop me, dude. Absolutely cannot stop us. It's literally impossible right now. I have all my piggies that I need. I can just rinse and repeat and get full HP like it's nothing. Oh, I love this build. It's too good. It's literally too good. It has so many benefits going for it. And just having this now massive pig farm right next to me, I'm just going to rinse and repeat and kill more. With these. Wait, did he jump down? He went underneath, did he? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he went over there. <laughs> I'm like, did he go underneath? The sickle coming in clutch. Down that guy. He's going for the revive. He's right over there. Okay, I got a stealth kill on that guy. I won't kill him yet. Down him. That guy died. Oh, dude. Okay, we'll allow the other guy to survive. Let me get the revives. Is the revives right here? There's no way. He has no clue. I am watching his every move. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at him! I love it. <laughs> He's just gonna walk away like that. I love it, I love it. The respawn's right here. Oh my god, that was cinematic. I'll let him go. I'll let him get it. I'll get a piggy right here if I want to. Or just keep farming piggies, we can. Because we've got so many of you. I love it. Let him get the respawn on his teammates. And we'll go back for another engagement. You'll love this. He's going for it. Beautiful, beautiful. As we thought he would. And now I'm going to allow him just pretty much be close by. As I set a whole lot of traps here. Oh, make sure this place is trapped out of the wazoo. Okay, nice. They're all dead. Wait, they all went there. <laughs> I thought he spawned inside. My bad. But I'm just chilling. I am just chilling. Go to the handout plasma caster. I just run 360s around these guys. Love it. I'm going to try to go inside here and try and bait him in it. No, the traps are shooting by traps, dude. <laughs> I'm just running towards him. I love it. It's too toxic. I don't kill him. I don't kill him. I let him be. So they get the revive from the other guy before he bleeds out. So you're applying too much pressure, then you're just gonna let the other guy bleed out. And I don't want that. That would be awful. Let's get our P's to get back on full HP. Perfect. 
This is too good. Like, this build is too strong. And I love it. I absolutely love it. The motion tech to go from this range? That's insane. The other guy is down there. This way. Get up on my own. You act like this is the first time. Should we go back in the tree lights? I feel like I should. Just because it's fun. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was so nice. He sees me. He's the only guy that can still see me. So cool! <laughs> oh no, they've unmastered! Okay, we're gonna get serious now. You've unmasked me. You've literally unmasked me. I don't like that. But that's why we have the handheld plasma caster. In case our plasma caster on our shoulders doesn't work anymore because we can't aim into it properly. Since our biomass is gone, we still have other benefits. There's always another option. The stealth kill icon is still there so I can chase down the opponent if we need to. Love it. Let's try and this guy. Perfect. Right next to him. Hey, dude, how you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, that scythe sound must have terrified him. The signal's coming out. I can't get the stealth, can I? He's on uneven land. I can't get it. He went down, so it's all right. Where's the other player? I've lost two players. He died again like that. Oh, dude, I feel bad for him. He dies without the stealth kill coming up. At all. Get out, Piggy. So I'm right next to you, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting the HP. I'm down. down them both. He's always not trying to parry me. I love it. It's two stealth kills. Is that a third? Not yet. Okay, not bad or bad. They're panicking. And he died the same way without the stealth kill appearing. I love it. Too strong, man. Too strong. I'm going to leave the support class to last. Or maybe not. Wait if I can get stealth kill on first. Okay, got it. There we go. Another one. Another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. They've unmasked me. I don't like that. Should I heal up? I might just heal up. And make sure I get back to full HP so we get a clean end scene. As the female prayer to Cleopatra. With his disgusting builds. I'm telling you, this build works wonders. Okay, we've got the last opponent. You just gonna sit there? Hey, make me bleed! I don't want Hey, stop! Stop, chill, chill. Get out of here. Yeah, dead! You're right out of here. There we go! Oh dude, that's too clean. Too clean. Absolutely too clean. Eliminating the fire team in style with our female Praetor, Cleopatra, unmasked. Her hair's going everywhere, but this character is unbelievably strong with that build. Stalker works so well on her, and I always enjoy playing this class with Stalker. But mate, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the build? Do you hate it? Do you like it? I'd love to know. And also, do you want to see more Prayer to Hunter Grounds on the channel? If so, tell us in the comment section down below. I would love to know. But this was a fun time highlighting the Cleopatra Prayer in our Toxic Build series, and it feels so fun to utilize. So you should give it a go and tell me how it feels for you when you use the character in your own gameplays. I'd love to know. As always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.